given the way Cleveland State's defense has started, though. You can't say that for sure. Well, here we'll find out. Four, six, three, double play, and the Vikings are out of the first, and what could have been a disastrous first inning after committing three errors, they do hold Ryder to only two runs. And that 1-1 one -one is hammered to right field on the run, making the catch Thompson. That'll do it for Ryder in the second inning. They leave a man on, and Cody Bates gets through it. It's 2 to nothing through 1.5 on the Horizon League Network. Back in the first inning, the 1-1 one -one pitch. That's driven hard to left field. Sam Bula made his first step in. That's a no-no, but he is able to slide down the warning track, make an excellent recovery, and make the catch. Looks like he had trouble reading that ball off the bat, but Anthony Sam Bula on an excellent defensive play ends the rider third inning. That ball's chopped left side of the infield. Haddich at short, throws over. Sam Bula makes an outstanding athletic play to get his foot on the bag. And that is out number two in the sixth inning. Trucker out there on I-90 trying to tell us something, I guess, with honking his horn. That ball's hit into the gap and right center field. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Coming around to score, Schwegler on his way into third, Ganesda. And that is an RBI triple for Alex Ganesda. The sophomore catcher. From Strongsville makes it an eight to two ball game. I wonder if he'd even get a throw down to second. That ball's hit deep to right field. Going back Mulderic, he will make the catch. Ganesta's gonna come around and score and make this an eight to three ball game. And the pitch. That's grounded to shortstop. Ralston with the throw over to first and scooping the ball. A nice play by Hine. And that ends the game, and it ends Cleveland State season. They fall to Ryder 8-3. to We'll take a quick timeout and be back for postgame right after this on the Horizon League Network. 